what's up guys i am back what's going on how y'all doing i know you see the title i know you see the title and i feel like i feel like this is a good question to ask because if you ask me it's pretty obvious who's going to be the next champions who the long reigning champions that mr h has just been prolonging he knew the whole time he wanted these people to be champion and you can tell the way by the way they've been booked in the past year and a half he just don't want to make them be it now he want to act like he's giving other people a chance when in reality he knows the belts is going to go on these specific people who i'm finna mention but I still haven't kind of figured out who's going to be Cody Rhodes replacement because I'm talking about the world titles for the men and the women. It's pretty obvious with the other three. But with Cody, I'm, I, it's still a question mark. So this is my question to you guys. You know, who do y'all think will be the next person to take Cody Rhodes title? And do you believe Cody Rhodes will actually make it to WrestleMania? Because in my honest opinion, I think it's a slim chance of him making it. You know, but let, let's start off with Raw. Let's start off with Raw, okay? You got your men's champion, which currently, right now, is Gunther. But we all know, and for those who don't know, and then I'm going to let you know if you don't know, it's pretty obvious that the next champion, and this is going to be the one who they really want to be champion, who's going to have it way longer than Gunther, is going to be CM Punk. CM Punk has probably been gifted or told that he was going to be gifted the WWE Raw title since the get-go. Like, even before, like, I'm serious. If you go back, look at my older videos, before CM Punk even came, I knew he was going to Raw, and I knew he was going to be world champion. This is before he even decided which company company he was on it's just obvious when especially when you pay attention to the booking and how things are going cm punk's feud is about to end at bad blood he's finna beat drew at bad blood and it's gonna be a, probably be a crazy brutal match hopefully and that's gonna lead into his feud with gunther gunther is not losing to Sami Zayn. that's why plus plus mr h wouldn't want cm punk beating Sami Zayn anyways he rather him beat gunther you know mr h doesn't like gunther like that that's why he let him get beat up by Sami Zayn. if he really cared about gunther he would have never made him look that weak okay he's just a placeholder just like the rest of them that i'm about to mention all of these people are placeholders in reality but after that we already seen cm punk come at gunther and then drew brung it back so that's letting you know even though it's common sense already out the gate come on the dude ain't even wrestling on pay-per-views he's gonna be champion but that's letting you know factual that once this is all said and done with drew he's coming for a gunther and you know they're not gonna let no gunther beat no cm punk so boom we already know who's gonna be the champion of raw in the future cm punk for the men the women Right now, it's currently Liv Morgan. Same thing. Liv Morgan is just a placeholder. They haven't been booking her strong this whole time. They don't even give Liv Morgan matches to build her. She's just stuck in a stupid drama where you know Rhea's going to win. Rhea lost the last time, but it was only because of shenanigans. And like I said, they just don't want to put them on it so quick. They want to act like they're giving other people a, ch a chance. Gunther and Liv have a lot in common. They're like older Vince talents that was used by Vince, and now he's just using them to prolong what he's really finna do. Like, it's pretty obvious Rhea Ripley is gonna beat Liv. Just like if they had a regular one-on-one -on -one match and there was no interference, Rhea will obviously win. And, and it should be common sense. This, this is why I never liked this whole Dominic BS, because it's all about Rhea. It's all about her. That's why, as you can see, now they're set up for bad blood. And, yes, Rhea is going to win in bad blood. There is no way possible they're going to let Rhea lose twice. No, no. The first one was just the giddy up. The second one is the placeholder. She's going to have the title at bad blood. So, boom, there you go. We know Rhea Ripley is going to be the women's champion. We know CM Punk is going to be the men's champion. Now, let's go to SmackDown. The women's champion right now, SmackDown, currently is Nia Jax. Same thing just a placeholder she's only there for the real person to come in who's the real person
person that's going to come in or the likable or the favorite person because Rhea Ripley is a favorite. CM Punk is a favorite. And the one who's taking the title from Nia is going to be a favorite, and that's going to be Tiffany. They keep showing you in your face that she's going to do it. Tiffany has been booked good and great ever since she's been here. She's always had attention. It's pretty obvious in day they, they want Tiffany Stratton to be the new women's champion. They put it on Bailey. They put it on Nia. Placeholders. Placeholders. Tiffany Stratton is who Mr. H wants to be the face of SmackDown. Trust and believe Tiffany is going to cash in and win that title. And let's not forget, currently, there has never been a woman who has failed to cash in. So let's not forget that. Yeah, the men, they failed uh, sometimes right especially with the last couple ones but the women it, it has never happened every time a woman cashes in she gets it so that's even more proof that she's gonna win a title because every woman who has cashed in has won a title eo won you know live didn't she win a money in the bank and won the title too this is this so you know tiffany is gonna betray naya which is obviously she's already why is she hanging out with the pretty boys for all we know, after the turn, she's going to be hanging with the pretty boys after this. Pretty deadly. Now, the real question is, who is going to take Cody's title, though? It's like the only person I can think of that's set up to take his title is probably Roman again, right? But do they really want to go that route again? Because you know Roman and them are probably going to fight again. So that's my only pick. But if Roman get it, I doubt, I seriously doubt he's going to have a lot of long time to reign. I think sooner or later we're going to get another piece thrown into the puzzle of who will be the real new champion. I don't think we quite seen him yet or seen the spotlight of attention yet. Because we'll see, man. Once SmackDown go to USA, it's probably going to be some changes right there. We know Solo not beating Cody in no cage. Um, so the, this is my question to you guys. Who do you think will be the real? And like I say, even if Roman is the one to win it, it is a very small chance Roman keeps that title for a long time. Like if Roman wins the title from Cody Rhodes, nine times out of ten, Roman will be the placeholder for the next dude who we don't know yet that's coming up. If y'all got any info or any thoughts about this, let me know. I would like to hear it. So please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, guys, if you haven't. And you already know, this is the future of WWE. So if you, you don't want to believe me now, just wait and see how those people do be champions. And they all be champions at the same time. Get ready. Peace.